Oh gosh. <laughs> Welcome to the video, my friend. Uh, my name is Brian Dolan. Coming to you from Chile, Canada. That's why I got the two gone. If you guys are wondering, and uh, I'm just gonna talk kind of close in here, like we're having a candid conversation together, and uh, talk about business. Talk about how to start a business. Um, the example I will be using in today's video is how to start a temporary staffing business. Now. If you're looking at starting a temporary staffing business, like a temp agency, um, this is something I've gotten around over like the last four years. And it's not something I personally have started, um, but it's something I've gotten around people who have started their own temp staffing business. And um, <laughs> the territory that goes with it, even if you're good with people, if you're good with people, you know, if you're looking at it because, you know, you enjoy getting around people who have different career paths and choices, um, it's a good business to get started in. But dealing with all the people out there, especially all the unemployed people with unemployment rates going up and going down and never really going up, 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 up all the time, um, with it always fluctuating up and down, running your own temp agency, obviously it is a business that does work. However, the work required for it, dealing with being on the phone all day long, dealing with putting out and helping people put out their resumes and matching employers with employees and making sure that they're the perfect fit and even though it may be short term or you know a little bit of a long term process that they're going to be employed it's just it's a never ending rotating effect so it is a good business model all right um you know you could get started once you legalize your business start putting up ads on craigslist start connecting with people on facebook and talking to people who aren't employed start building connections with people who are uh business owners and working with them one on one from that and that in a nutshell is kind of how you can get started that's how my close friend got started and uh, just building through social media but before you take all that on, I'm telling you, unless you really enjoy being on the phone all day long and uh, you know being on the computer 24-7, unless you really enjoy that, I've got to lay down a theory away here before you consider starting your own temp agency business. And if you hear me out here for a minute, only if you're looking at starting a temp agency uh, because you want to be your own boss and create your own income, if that's what you're looking for, then you want to know this because this is critical that you understand to building a business, um, especially from home, if that's what you're looking for. Because my story with this goes back a year ago when I transitioned from a traditional home business and I came across a person who was building a business and doing so without having to be on the computer 24-7, mindless to say, or I should say, needless to say, mindless to say. I'm saying some new words here. <laughs> um, but it's a good day. I hope you're having a good day too. Off track here. But, uh, you know, this person was building a business from home. Um, they weren't on the computer all day long. They weren't on the phone all day long. In fact, I don't even know if, how many times they picked up the phone in a day. I think it was maybe once or twice. And because they actually were building a business from home, having a life at the same time, and doing so, all right, on the internet without having to deal with chasing people down or, you know, doing something that someone else should really be doing without doing any of that stuff. Because they had leverage and flexibility, I was attracted to it. You know, this person was making a high multiple six-figure income business online from home, um, traveling around the world, building their business wherever there's internet access, which I guess you could say is everywhere now, and uh, was able to model and copy them in less than a month. It was actually like a couple weeks. I was able to work my butt off really, really hard, <laughs> learn some stuff, and create a full-time income working part-time, put my traditional business off to the side, and quit corporate America. I share that with you strictly because if you want to build a business from home and you want to do so to create leverage and flexibility, learn to build a business on the internet. All right, learn to build a business online, learn how to build one in a way that can get the results that you want, whether that's to travel more, whether it's to spend more time with your family, learn how to play the piano, learn how to help kids out in Africa and provide for them and travel over there and build wells and schools, whatever that passion and purpose is. Learn how to do it in a leveraged way, all right, in a way that you can enjoy your life at the same time. And it's not dogging, um, you know, a staff agency, but it is sharing with you the difference between the two. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got value out of it. And uh, if you'd like to learn more information about how to actually do this on the internet, how to build a business online, okay, if you want to learn how to do this, to do what you want, when you want, if you're not afraid of work, if you're not afraid of learning, there is work, yes. I'm not talking about pushing a button, getting rich quick. I'm sorry, there's work. Um, but if you're not afraid of that, connect with me on my site. You can check it out. It's 123marketingtips.com. I'll put the link down below in the description, connecting with you from there. Uh, but aside from that, if you connect with me or not, I look forward to seeing your success story. I know you can do it because you're serious and you made it to four minutes, almost five minutes, my gosh, of this video. My goodness. Listening to my voice for five minutes, you're a trooper. <laughs> but uh, appreciate you, and I'll see you on the beaches of the world. Take care.